Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I've got a slightly different type box for you today. Um, I don't really know what I would call this one. Um, it was actually something similar that I saw on Pinterest and I thought that looks quite cute. And then as I was wandering around one of the really cute and quaint little shops in our village, I saw these tinned candles. Now I love coconut and although it says sea salt coconut it just smells divine and I thought that actually is even tempting turquoise how good is that so of course I had to make something with tempting turquoise um, and these are just some so cute little candles they are two and a half inches tall so they're really not very big at all and they are just so cute um, and so I made this little box and obviously it's a cute little tag to go with it um, we don't have any DSP in the annual catalogue that goes with the Tempting Turquoise so I couldn't find something to add on the panel so I just thought I would just do some random stamping and I actually think that it turned out quite cute. So I'm going to show you how I made it. So you need some cardstock that measures 11 and 3 quarters by 7 and a quarter. Now this is actually just a full length of... Um, an A4 sheet so it's literally an A4 sheet by seven and a quarter. Um, now before I do any of my scoring we obviously need to do our stamping. So weather together, why is this camera keep auto focusing and going blurry I don't know I do apologize. So weather together I think this is a really lovely bundle I love the fonts I think they're really pretty. You have the choice between raindrops and hearts, there's presents. I just think that it's really cute. So, you know, I, as I say, that's why I chose this one. So I've got my D block and I'm going to use the stripey umbrella again. So we'll get him out first and obviously my tempting turquoise ink. And then I'm simply just going to add random umbrellas all over it any which way I please just think when you're doing this though that you don't want them too close together because you've still got to fit the handles of the umbrella on obviously it's handy if you can just add some corners that won't need the handle okay so just got my stamp and scrub off to one side here to clean it so I'm going to put that one away and grab, when I can see it, the bottom of the handle because it's in two sections this one and then just very quickly stamp the handle at the centre of all of the umbrellas and this is what I mean about getting too close, look that one's overlapped but I'm not too worried because I'm hoping that might be an area that needs to be trimmed. <laughs> So just sticking these handles on, I think that's it. So scrub that one and then we just need the tiny little tip that goes on the top. So again, just a little stamp, get him on the top of all of your umbrellas and then all that's left, and I've just realised I've got ink on my block which means it's now going all over my card it's because I'm rushing because watching somebody stamp is just so boring right, that one will do give that a scrub and put it away and then last but not least is the clouds so just bosh a flu a flu a few clouds on here And then just last but not least, I'm just going to grab the smaller of the clouds and just add a few more on here and there. And then that should do it. So I'm going to pop that away, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. So now we can bring in our scoring board and where's my scoring tool there it is so on the seven and a quarter 
we need to score at two and a half inches and four and three quarter and then we rotate and we simply score at four and three quarters and seven simple as that oh no it's not sorry I'm telling you fibs it's not as simple as that what you do need to do is you need to cut the length because obviously this sits like this so these come up here but obviously when you fold the side up you've got the lengths that come out far too long so we need to trim some of this off so what I suggest you do is on this side we've got it scored at seven let's score again at nine just down to that first score line likewise here we're at four and three quarters so let's go at two and three quarters and score complete change 180 so that those scores are at the bottom and let's do the same again so two and three quarters to that first score line and nine inches just to that first score line then we're done let's grab our bone folder and we only have four score lines here that we need to burnish because it's that simple now I'm going to grab my big scissors here just because I find it easier and we're literally cutting down the whole length of these long panels and then just across that score line that we did extra and we just do that on all four sides so that we've got uh, well a box made really and what I like about these as well is that you could actually use these um, as gifts at Christmas dare I say it you could hang them off the tree and just put some little chocolates inside or um, even at Easter use them for the Easter bunny um, hanging off trees in gardens or off the hedge pretty good I think they're quite versatile you could use them for many things but unfortunately I don't remember who um, who designed it on Pinterest so I do apologise otherwise I would have credited them okay so there's our basics very simple fuse on all the tabs oops getting it all stuck up here one two three one two three and then we just simply fold them up into place and then same again this side that one and then the last one just fold it in there give it a little press just to make sure that glue's set and then in goes my candle and I just simply push these two bits together and line them up so I'm just going to spin this round while I have it bring in again my one eighth of an inch circle handheld punch make sure that your edges are lined up again squeeze it and punch oh look that moved that time typical isn't it and then just do another one down there I'm then going to grab some of this beautiful new whisper white sheer ribbon as you can see it's beautiful quite narrow which is handy and I'm actually going to grab a darning needle because it's got a real thick um, opening and it's perfect for this ribbon because it just fits ideal so I'm literally going to put it through those two and through those two and just hold it there for the time being whilst I make my cute little label so foolishly I didn't measure this so I'm not doing too well today so I'm just going to quickly grab out of my what I call my scrap bit here we go that looks good enough so let's have a quick look with my ruler 
So this is, we'll do four by two. So bring in my trimmer and I'm going to go, let's flip it over, two inches wide by four long. And that's that. And then I have the really cute ticket border punch, which I think is lovely. And I'm just going to pop that in. And you may just need to move it along a bit just to get that final bit done. So that's that bit done. I've been a little bit naughty and I did pre do the balloons. Uh, sorry, the, the umbrella even, but I didn't do the candle, uh, the, the clouds, crikey, I'm losing my mind today. So, I'm just going to grab my stamp and I'm going to grab my B block and I need my smoky slate just to stamp a couple of clouds. So, um, one of the larger ones and a small one. In fact, no, I didn't. I did a large and two large, didn't I? Never mind. Let's mix it up. <laughs> so I stamped my candle. Uh, what is it with me and candles? Stamped my umbrella top in Tempting Turquoise on Whisper White. And I stamped the um, umbrella uh, stalk, maybe, handle in Basic Grey. And obviously the clouds have been done in smoky slate. So I'm just going to very quickly run these through the big shot, but I'm not going to bring it onto the camera because I don't think you need me to do that. So I'm just quickly going to whiz these through by using fantastic umbrella weather flamelets. And in here, there's one cloud. There's the other, and as you can see, there are so many beautiful options. That's the one that I used for the umbrella, and there's the handle part. But you can even add designs, look to your umbrella. You can add patterns and swirls and dots. You can emboss, cut it out and emboss the two bits there. You've got your raindrops, your hearts, just so cute, so many options. So let me just quickly cut these beautiful clouds out that I'm struggling to do because now I'm under pressure. So there's one cloud and then I just need to do the small one. Clearly wasn't very organised when I came to do this one as I managed to do everything else and then forgot to do the clouds or measure the the banner but hey ho and that's not cut out very well at all so I'm going to ditch that one and we'll come back to them later so I grabbed my glue dot and to stick the bit here what I actually did was put my glue dot I just sort of eyeballed the centre so that when I come to stick it on I just know that that's where it'll go and then I just added a couple more glue dots either side and then I just added a half one so I just folded my glue dot in half just there to the bottom of the handle, just to stop it lifting up and potentially ripping off. And I just popped him there like that. Likewise, a glue dot on my cloud that I just had hovering there, just slightly off the edge. And then I need my circle punch to punch a hole in the top 
and then I just need my sentiment and I've completely lost my bit of Whisper White cardstock that I had. I have a clue, oh it's here, I do know where it is. So again my stamp set, just grabbing the word thanks which is up there, my B block and stamp that on there. Let's just put this out of the way before I put my hand in it, the way the day is going. And then again I did the ticket border punch here just across the bottom. Now I'm not worried about all of that because I'm just going to come in with my snips and just take that bit off. And then I just want my trimmer to just cut that bit out. And I've done this one a little bit smaller this time, but it doesn't matter. A bit of snail on the back. And then I just sort of lined this up as best I could with a bit of a gap. there we go and then bringing this back in I'm just going to grab that needle because you need to put one through like that and then it's a real fiddle to try and get the second one through you can do it it'll just take forever and I don't have forever because you'll be bored and then you just Put it through there as well, pull it all up tightly, make sure as I didn't there that your ribbon's not twisted, that's better, and then just tie your bow and as you know I do my bows upside down, back to front, whichever way you call it. And then I'm just going to, whoops, make the bow a little smaller. I don't know why that's going up there. And then I'm just going to trim off the excess. And there you have your little thank you gift. So obviously I need to have another cloud here because it otherwise looks a little bit plain. But I think they're really cute thank you gifts lovely little gift, a lovely smelling candle that anybody would be grateful to have um, and you can add any of these sentiments, I mean there's so many in here, I'm here for you, sometimes we all need shelter from the storm, we'll weather this together wishing you brighter days, celebrate, love, you can choose any of them, obviously I just went with the thanks because I think that's really cute. Um, all the products that I've used are available in the current catalogue um, as you know, all the details, um, including measurements, will be on my blog and I promise I won't miss them. Um, all the products I've used are available in the store, which, as I've said to you before, you can purchase um, again in the link below. Um, I hope you all have a great day. hope you all find some nice little goodies to put inside some boxes like these. Um, and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!